Welcome back, everybody, to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. One more episode for this playthrough. And we have got to the point where, I'm admitting it, we're using a walkthrough for this part because uh, what apparently has happened is we no longer needed those lights anymore. Even though there was clearly a fourth light pointed down, I think we're done with these up here. So this is where I was getting really lost because I was like, well, how do you shine this? You got to use this cheese wheel thing that I was all mixed up about. So there's a tunnel with two wheels missing. And you got to use recall to make them line up. Holy smokes. So that's how you do it. Not stick a rock in there. Is that going to be enough to shine through? Maybe not. Maybe a little more. And then that opens that. And then that will light up floor number four. My battery's running low. Fantastic. But good thing is, this takes a USB-C. Head through the tunnel. There it is. And that's how you get the last one. That was it the whole time. It wasn't the mirrors. The mirrors were only those two. I'm gonna argue that was very confusing because two of those were done by moving mirrors and there was a third light that one would assume, such as myself, that that's how you would do that by moving those mirrors around. And it also didn't help when the game glitched on me like crazy. So, I don't like that that was the solution. <laughs> because, I don't know. Just, yeah. Just. It should have been somewhere else. It shouldn't have been where it seemed like you were trying to shine a fourth light on that. Uh, Ultra Hand Boulder is placed between the spike walls, something. Oh, that's just when you get to the next area. Okay, I can do this part on my own, I think. Back to the fourth floor. Oh. This guy is a piece of work. Well, that's where we came from over there. <laughs> Thank you, Tustin. Use a lot of game grumps jokes here. Love the grumps. I'll be interested to see how Aaron handles this. Oh, this is the whole... This thing is going to be a problem. Yeah, this is what they're talking about, the boulder. Okay. Yeah. on this. This part I can do, no problem. I think I, that just mixed me up. Having three hey, lights... Having three lights them. in such close proximity to one another. And I think the fact that I started... You know, they were saying on the, on the walkthrough that the lights that I did was light three and four. So I think maybe the fact that I happened to start with light three and four first made me believe because light one as you guys saw was just moving boulders at the bottom so maybe if i had seen that first if i had seen that right away then that would have been an indicator that like okay they're all not this mirror but i thought that every light was that mirror game God, he doesn't get his shield up fast enough. i thought all Every single area was that uh, game, was the mirror game. And it was not the case. It was only those two. But it certainly, the way they were all positioned, led me to believe that you shined a mirror on all of those to get the job done. 
there. If all my words are making sense. What would have happened if you like threw your leaf away? You need to, like half this. So that'd be my only complaint. Having never designed a game in my life except for Mario Maker levels is this fourth area should have been separate from the mirrors to not make me think. Uh, hello? To not make me think that they were connected. Because obviously that game had nothing to do with this. Okay, well, we got a light here, obviously. So we need to shine. I guess I need to move this over here. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Did anybody else get get uh, get turned around by that? I'm sure there's some people. Now I'm turned around by this. How the heck? How the heck? Do you, uh, do you move this guy? There's obviously something here. Think of something. I'm gonna see if this works, and I'm hoping that this is gonna cheat the game. Cause I want to be done with this. This has uh, been two and a half hours <laughs> of just this temple. Which I, mean, I get, you know, there's only four of them. So I suppose they uh, they should take some time. Why don't these lights do anything? This sucks. Oh, what, what is this? Wait a minute. Can I not break that? There's a mirror shield on there. Can I not get that off of there? shield off? Is that like... No. Alright. <laughs> We're back to square one. There's a light here. How do we get to it? I'm walkthrough in it. <laughs> I'm doing the walkthrough. Um, use the nearby mirror in the sand to reflect the light onto the target. The light. Jump down, pick up the stakes. Alter hand the stakes into the wall so that the spinning... Wait, what? Head through the hall, take out the construct. Alter hand the stakes. Put them into the wall so that the spinning stops. What's spinning? Leave the yellow light target open. What's spinning? Is there something spinning that I'm not seeing? Did this stupid temple glitch on me again? Here's the stakes, but I don't know what... I'm gonna use a different walkthrough. Uh, IGN's usually pretty good. Um, Lightning Temple... IGN. Oh my god, I gotta go to a separate page. Pausing. 
Welcome back, everybody. If you want to see how we discovered this, it's up on Patreon. The entire thing unedited on Patreon. You want to know what the big solution was? There's a big hole in the floor over here that I didn't see because everything underneath from this angle, and I guarantee I walked by it so many times, the angle just made it seem like it was a piece of the floor. And when you walk over there, there's a big old hole in the floor. And this is what they were talking about. The stakes to make the thing stop spinning. He thinks I'm not doing this right. Where, what, what part do you spike? Oh, here's another mirror. Man, I this is this has confused me worse than the fire temple. I somebody go back and count. How many times I've used the word confused <laughs> in this playthrough? Gotta be. I mean, gotta be in the hundreds. use stakes. I want to figure this out, not use a walkthrough. Figure this one out. How can we, how can we slow this guy down? Alright, back to the walkthrough. This temple sucks. This temple literally sucks. Uh, drop down, altar hand piece, place the mirror. There are two stakes in the room that can be used to stop the wall. You don't actually need... We found you don't actually need them. However, if it doesn't work for you, you need to use the stakes to stop the room. Use the altar hand to pick them up. Press B when you're positioning them to bring them to a stop. Oh, it just locks in? Well, it wasn't giving me any indication that it was doing that. Oh, it stopped. Wait a minute. It stopped now. Oh. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? It literally wasn't giving me any indication that I could... Yeah, that's what it was doing. Uh, I hate this temple. I hate the lightning temple. There we go. I guess I just wasn't timing it right. Is that on or do I need to like... There we go. Holy smokes. I guess I just wasn't having it timed enough tv sports 27 oh my god <laughs> oh man i you sh if it's my brain is just breaking or or this temple just got me i think it definitely got me i don't know i felt like i was putting those in the wall and i was letting go and they were just not working, but I could have also not been letting go. 
I think part of the problem is too that like every other time you use the ultra hand, it's A. But then in that instance, to make this stick into the wall, if you hit A, nothing happens. Well, in that case, that did that. That's a so A is how to stick is how to make everything stick to everything. But for this, you have to hit B, and I think that's what I was doing. I was hitting A instead of hitting B. That might have been it. I don't like that. I don't like that uh, that one random tool has a different button for sticking than every other tool. Now we have light. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be seeing like light in my dreams to this temple. Oh my God, and that's it. Well, we'll see, can we defeat the boss in 15 minutes? Cause that's all we're giving ourselves. My arrow back, stupid temple. Come here, you. Come here, princess. There we go. Alright, 15 minutes to defeat the boss. I mean, there's gonna be a big long cutscene, too, I suppose. Alright, we've charged all of the batteries with lightning. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. Let's go. Still gonna argue. I don't I don't like that. There's been a lot to like about this game. It's been very fun, very awesome game. I'm gonna take one shot with this on the bad guy. But I'm gonna argue that, that this was bad again. I mean, anybody playing this has never designed a game other than Mario Maker. <laughs> Designs of Mario Maker. But having three of those so close to each other when you can easily get confused and think you have to use a mirror. I don't know. Hmm. We charge all the batteries. Let's check out the device. I thought I was. I guess I was talking to you. All right. What? Link, the platform's about to move. And watch Aaron. I haven't watched this part of Game Grumps yet, but just like the Fire Temple, I bet you Aaron's going to blow right through this. And this is going to be so easy. I'm going to be sitting there like looking like I'm the putz. Like, oh my god. Huh? Huh? Something shining over there? This is that seventh floor room. The room of glorious light. I guess let's uh let's blow this thing up, huh? Lightning, right. Oh boy. Here we go. You guys ready for boss time? Queen Gibdo. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. And we're gonna do Queen Gibdo next time on TV Sports 27. Because if we beat this, there's gonna be a big old cutscene at the end. So it will probably be better off for it to be in its own self-contained episode so um yes so we'll be back come on back and let's see if we can't just finish this thing out strong <laughs>